Hello everyone, this is BrickX Heroes, and this is another mock showcase of my new and improved steampunk airship. Uh, now this mock is fairly basic as far as ships go, but uh, yet at the same time it takes a lot of pieces. Uh, as you can see, we got the two new twin propellers up here, which those are held in place by these little bricks here. And, yeah. uh, there's also a back propeller, if we can see, if you can see that. Uh, and, yeah, that's to kind of get it move forward. Need to kind of get it up here. Uh, up on the deck here, we have of some. We have some barrels of TNT, a missile, and a cannon. Also, we have the anchor, which that can actually slide out like that and be twisted up or, or twisted back to, you know, if you, want to lit, if you want to rest this thing in the sea. We also have here, or, or we've got one of my original characters, Emily, here is working on, on a robot, which for now I've just dubbed as Rusty. Uh, up here on the uh, upper deck of the ship, we've got more of my original characters, mostly piloting. We've got uh, Kate it working the uh, controls, my character James here for steering in the uh, ship. Uh, my, my other and her original character Kimmy is a uh, navigator, and uh, this might be a little biased, but my original character, or solely based on myself, is Captain. <laughs> uh, now let's get into the interior part of the ship. First, we'll start off with the captain's cabin, and, and which is pretty easy, which is the easiest to get in. Which we'll just pop the upper, the entire upper deck off. And as you can see inside, and we've got a nice comfy bed with drawers. There, there's a, a, a katana hanging up on the wall. Well, you've got a, you've got a map, a letter, and a piece of paper, as well as a mug on top of the, uh, on top of the table there. On the other side, you've got uh, a, another dresser with, with uh, an extra hat, as well as a, a Lego set. That's not very steampunkish. I just thought that would be kind of fun, a fun little Easter egg to throw in there. And that is a custom decal. We've got a bookshelf with uh, we've got a bookshelf over here with a credit card, and and the books here. Or some people might recognize as a familiar as a little Easter egg here is the journals from Gravity Falls. Those are custom decals I worked on my myself. And uh, no, and if you open them, no, there's nothing inside them. They're just kind of a prop. They're just kind of a prop there. There's also a fedora or Indiana Jones hat as just kind of a neat little uh, classic, classic homage to the uh, classic adventurer style look. Now, Let's just put this back on here, and we'll get to the and we'll get to below the deck, uh, and that all easily comes off like so. If you could see, oh, I forgot to mention, there's a little ladder there that pops up up, up in order to get below the deck. Uh, so there is somewhat of a way to get minifigs down below the deck, and that just we'll just set this up here for now, and we can see the entire bottom half of the ship. You can see there's a fridge, a sink, and a stove. There's also a table over here, or what looks like just a cup on there. There's some, there's a treasure chest, and over on this side we've got some uh, barrels as well as an oversized barrel. <laughs> I'll uh, flip this back over. We'll we'll see. We have two beds. There's five mini fig eggs and, and two and uh, three beds. So. Assuming two, so it's usually just assumed that two characters are, uh, you know, control the ship as they take shifts. Over here, we've got uh, somewhat of a little. Uh, since one, of, since my original character Emily, I've decided to make her kind of an inventor. I've got a little work, a little work desk over at the end. You can see that's meant to be blueprints. We've got a barrel, a, a crate full of interesting little stuff here, and you've got even on the uh, shelf. Even on the table there, there's a little grappling gun. Uh, just as a little bonus a set of details inside the fridge, it is also a. It's also some drinks. You know, there's a Pepsi and a Coca Cola, as well as two marked, uh, uh, two unmarked jars. Uh, yeah. So this. Too 
took well around um, a few days to make, mostly just trying to find all those pieces of ground. Uh, I actually used up most of my uh, ground pieces in this, as well as another uh, Lego mock we're going to be filming later today, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is oh, this has been my custom Lego mock showcase. Also, you might notice there's a great small gun sword.